What's Magic League? If you really like the fun and excitement of a pre-release, I have a format for you. And it's Magic League. And I'll tell you all about it right now. Welcome, Young Mage, on the Rhino. Young Mage is devoted to reaching and teaching young mages of all ages. Subscribe now to show your support. And don't forget to tap that bell down below to get notifications of all the cool stuff coming soon. Man, Friday Night Magic is fun. I really like building new and different decks. But some people just keep playing the same deck over and over again. It'd be great if there was a format that was just like the pre-release. We always have so much fun at those. I, Pharaoh, say, why not try Magic League? Magic League? What's that? It's a new in-store format that's dynamic and fast-paced. How do I start? You start with three booster packs. And build a 30-card deck. Each week, you add another booster pack to your pool. Wow, this is great! I have so many questions. For that, you need to call an expert. Okay. What is Magic League? So, we want to talk about Magic League, eh? Okay. Well, Magic League is actually a pretty new program we have. Um, so, what happened is uh, we decided that we needed to have something else in store that was easy for people to jump into. Uh, was fast, was fun, and was really pretty friendly and easygoing and casual. Um, so we created uh, a new program called Magic League. And the way it works is, is it's an ongoing weekly program. And what you do is when you join Magic League, you get three booster packs and uh, you open them up and it's sort of like a mini sealed experience. You open them up, you build a 30 card minimum deck or yeah, minimum size deck, and uh, then uh, what you do is you uh, play any matches that you want, single game matches, uh, against anyone you want to play, um, and you just keep doing that week in and week out, and then every week you get to add a booster pack uh, to your pool so you have more options to play. Okay. Do you only play in the store, or can you play at home? You can actually do both. It's the first program that we designed that um, allows you to kind of uh, participate no matter how you want. Uh, the stores um, have a cool kit where they give you things like um, a collection box and uh, there's promos and things like that that you'll get for playing in store. But we also make all of our uh, information on how to play the league and, uh, and how it's structured and the rules available for download digitally on our Magic website. Okay. Do you only use packs from Omicat or can you use other sets like Kaladesh? That's a really good question. So the answer is that um, our official league that we roll out in the stores with every set features the current set. So for example, right now, right, it's Omicat. Uh, when the next set comes out, Hour of Devastation, it'll be a mix of Hour of Devastation and Amonkhet because those two sets are in the same world. Um, for, uh, for when you're playing at home, you can kind of do whatever you want, right? I mean, if you have uh, booster packs from old sets that you wanted to use, you could use those. Um, but, you know, the idea is that uh, most people will have access to, like, the most recent cards. So you're probably going to mostly use the most recent sets. But you could do a league in any in any variation that you wanted to at home. Okay. Can you use the same deck or more than one league? Uh, that's, that's a great question. Um, so the answer there is when you start the league, you're going to be playing for a few weeks with the same deck, right? And every week you're going to get another booster pack 
that you can add to your pool of cards and kind of evolve your deck over time. But at the end of that league, which usually lasts about four weeks, um, you'll want to go ahead and start a new league. And that means, you know, getting a whole new pool of cards, starting with three fresh booster packs and then and then starting up again. And the reason why that is, is because after you've played for a few weeks, uh, you, your deck, you know, you start to really know it, you start to really kind of understand it. But then it also just, you know, it starts to feel a little bit stale. And so you want to go ahead and uh, start a new one um, after the time. Does your minimum index size change as you add more packs? Um, it doesn't actually. So uh, in order to keep the league really simple, um, what we've done is we've looked at the 30 card minimum deck size um, as being the standard no matter how many booster packs you have in your pool. So if you have five or six booster packs, you're still building a 30 card minimum deck. This means that as the weeks progress for the league, um, your deck is going to get really, really tuned. It's going to get really efficient, and it's going to have the, the best, only the best creatures and best spells um, that it could. What happens if somebody starts partway through the league? Uh, so, that's a great question. If someone starts uh, partway through the league, they can always catch up. So what that means is, is uh, let's say you start uh, in week three. So in week three, everybody would have had uh, at least five booster packs. They would have had the three booster packs they would have gotten the first week, uh, another booster pack for week two, and a third booster pack for week, or a second booster pack in addition to their uh, normal three for week three. So they'd have a total of five packs in their pool. That person that's entering the league uh, in week three, for example, would still be able to pick up five booster packs and kind of catch up right away. Okay. How many games do you play each week? You can play as many as you want. Um, so the league doesn't really have a limit on the number of games played. Um, the only thing we recommend with the league is just not to play the same person over and over again. Uh, try to find new people to play because, because league is meant to be something that's really social and fun and it's a way for you to meet new magic players and maybe make some friends. So yeah, you can play whoever you want and when it's single games, it's really fast, so you're talking like maybe 15 minutes for each game, which means you can get a lot of different play in with different people on a night. Is there a winner? So some places, some organizers, stores, and clubs do uh, have uh, prizes for winners. Uh, we, we don't actually provide anything um, for a winner in our kits, for example. Uh, we do say that if you want to, you can reward a winner. Um, so as, if you're an organizer of a, of a league, you can, you can certainly do that kind of thing. Um, but the emphasis in the league is mostly on playing and just having fun and kind of exploring, evolving your deck over the course of a few weeks um, rather than uh, just, you know, winning like tournament style. What's the latent airspeed of a swallow? Uh, African or European? European. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> A good question. <laughs> That's all the questions I got. That's all you have for me? Yeah. Magic League is amazing. The games are fast paced and my deck gets better and better each week. Magic League is really fun. Comment below and tell me what you think. Are you ready to play the Magic League? Do you think you have what it takes to win? Make sure you click like on each of my videos. It helps out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And there are a few things here and here that may interest you. I have more videos coming out soon. And until then, Rhino out.